Hey, how are you? Well, I just got a painting back from the gallery that shows my work in Florida, Serona Fine Art, and I thought it would be a good video to take the crate apart, make sure that the artwork's in good condition, and then we'll take a look and see how the crate was built, because it really doesn't take a lot of skill to build a crate, and the materials won't cost a lot of money. The first thing I'll do is unscrew the top, and that's 3 8 plywood. The sides of the crate are 1x4 pine, and 1x4 actually measures 3 quarters by 3 and a half inches. The painting's packed in cardboard, and it's a really snug fit, which is a good thing because then the artwork doesn't shift around in the crate but it's so snug that I, I can't pull the painting out of the crate. So I'll have to remove the sides by getting underneath the crate. I'll just pull the crate off the edge of the table and remove one side at a time. Well, they did a really good job packing the painting, and between the packing and the crate, the painting arrived in good condition. So if you want to make your own crate, it's really not very difficult to do. Most of your cuts can be made for you at the lumber yard or the home store. Just know your dimensions, and uh, they should take care of that for you. They may even cut your one by fours as long as you know the dimensions. Now, the one piece of advice is, uh, I would add about four inches to the dimensions of your artwork. So in other words, if you're shipping a painting that's 30 by 30 inches, make the inside of your crate about 34 by 34 inches, and that will give you some room for your packing material. Now as far as building the crate, once you have your plywood cut and your 1x4s, you simply just screw the plywood to the 1x4 and build half the crate, pack your painting up, drop it in the crate, screw the top down or the other piece of plywood, and you're ready to go. I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for tuning in.